Hey guys, it's Monstrous Pegasister, and welcome to our ninth Hunger Games simulator. Yeah, sorry about the flub from last time, but I got it right this time, so yay! But anyway, and it's the late Valentine's Day edition, Couples Night. Sorry, I couldn't come up with enough couples, so... <sighs> anyway, District 1, we have Ace Copular and Snake Engleberry from the Powerpuff Girls. Special thanks to Carol Goat. 11037 from Tumblr for giving me that idea. Oh, by the way, not all of these are canon. I Some of these are things I actually ship. <sighs> District 2, we have Leon Kawada from Danganronpa, and speak of the devil, there's Karoga 11037 here to join us. I guess she volunteered as tribute. District 3, we have Mado Awada and Kiyotake Ishimaru, also from Danganronpa. District 4, we have Tyrone, Calvin, Nutkiss, and Judy Nutkiss from Super Mario Logan. Yes, I know they're divorced now, but I just kept them in there to make things interesting. In District 5, we have the Goblin, the Goblin and the Ghibli's painting from Homestar Rudder. He accepts me for who I am! Da -da 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 -da. In District 6, we have Wreck-It Ralph and Queen Elsa from Arendelle. Yeah, I haven't seen Ralph Breaks the Internet yet, and in case you haven't checked the upload date, Hey, Frozen 2 is out for your time zone. Frozen 2 isn't out in this one, so... <sighs> yeah, I've heard rumors floating around that Elsa doesn't have a boyfriend because she's lesbian. Yeah, because that makes sense. Anyway, speaking of lesbians, in District 7, we have Ruby and Sapphire from Steven Universe. In District 8, we have Jack Skellington and Sally Finkelstein from The Nightmare Before Christmas. Yeah, Kara wanted me to, um include Jack for the Christmas Hunger Games, but I was saving him for this one. Hope it was worth it. District 9, we have Flufflepuff Pony and Queen Chrysalis from My Little Pony. Yes, I know, Flufflepuff's an OZ, but I, that ain't gonna stop me. In District 10, we have Robert Underdunk Terwilliger and Francesca Terwilliger from The Simpsons. A, because Shepardkins already took Homer and Marge, and B, I don't ship these two. I think this relationship is toxic, and exploiting it would actually mean, um, spoiling the episodes of the red. <sighs> so let's move on. In District 11, we have Alphys and Undyne from Undertale. In District 12, we have Frederick Lee from Victor 06, and who's that little mofo with the chicken hat? Oh, it's me! Monstrous Pegasus sister! <sighs> yeah, I had a crap ton of crushes to pick from, but I decided with Fred, because... That whole incident with his dad. If, you, if you've seen Big Hero 6, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, let's begin to the bloodbath. As the trivia stand on their podiums, the horn sounds. Da, 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 da! Francesca to Willager grabs a jar of fishing bait while Sapphire gets fishing gear. I-9 brings the goblins on non-existent nose for a basket of bread. What is up with people trying to break noses that aren't even there? Alphys runs away. Ruby rips a mace out of Flufflepuff Pony's hooves. The Ghibli's painting runs away. Leon Kawada runs away. Queen Chrysalis runs away. <sighs> Mondo Awada grabs a handful of throwing knives. Tyro Nutkiss grabs a backpack not realizing it's empty. Kiyotaka takes a sickle. Queen Elsa grabs a shuffle. Jack runs away. Saicho Bob runs away. Sally grabs a backpack not realizing it's empty. Okay! Right off the bat! I commit suicide! That's just great! I mean, not that it's out of character or anything, but yeah. Ace Copular stabs Carol in the back with a trident. Welcome to the already die right off the back club, Carol. Sorry I put you in this. <sighs> Fred Lee grabs a first aid kit and runs away. Snake Engleberry breaks Judy Nuckus's nose for a basket of bread. That's a bit better. Rick and Ralph takes the spear from inside the cornucopia. Okay, let's proceed. Day one. Snake and Ilberry bleeds out to un untreated injuries. Queen Chrysalis pushes Ace Copular off a cliff during a knife fight. All right! Right off the bat, we have our first couple dead! Undying tends to fluffle Puff's wounds. Mondo receives fresh food. Queen also receives clean water. Ruby and Leon split up in search for resources. The Ghibli's painting hunts for other tributes. Come on in here! Sally is pricked by financial picky berries. Francesca discovers a cave. Kiyotaka Ishimaru explores the arena. 
the goblin and Fred work together for the day. Tyrone and Judy work together for the day. Yeah, so what if Tyrone's cheated on Judy? Maybe this will help him reconcile or something. Sapphire, Sideshow Bob, Alphys, and Jack Skellington raid wreck at Ralph's camp while he's hunting. Not a good idea, guys. <sighs> Four cannon shots commander. This is for me, Caro, Snake Gungleberry, and Ace Copular. Night one. Leon Kawada is awoken by nightmares. Francesca Terwilliger loses sight of where she is. Sally is unable to start a fire and sleeps without warmth. Saicho Bob Alphys and the Ghibli's painting discuss the games and what might happen in the morning. <laughs> Kiyotaka tends to Queen Chrysalis's wounds. Sounds like something he'd do. Fred bets for Jack Skellington to kill him. He refuses, keeping Fred alive. Come on, Fred, we need to win this! Avenge your dad! I, I can't come up with anything else! Sorry. Judy receives fresh food. Undyne, Mondo, the Goblin, and Ruby sleep in shifts. <sighs> Queen Elsa receives fresh food. Wreck and Ralph climbs a tree to rest. Yeah, because that went so well before. Waffle Puff loses sight of where she is. Sapphire questions her sanity. Tyrone, Calvin, Duck kiss quietly hums. Day 2. Francesca, Frederick Lee, Sideshow Bob, Wreck and Ralph, and Mondo hunt for other tributes. I don't want to mess with this team. Fred in there or not. Alphys goes hunting. Ghibli's painting practices his archery. Undyne receives medical supplies. <sighs> Queen Chrysalis overhears Sapphire and Queen Elsa talking in the distance. Yeah, we cryogenesis chicks gotta stick together. Sally goes hunting. Jack Skellington fishes. Ruby overhears the goblin and Kiyotaka Ishimaru talking in the distance. I wonder how that would go. Hey! No running in the arena! Da -da 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 -da. Since the goblin can't talk, as far as I know. Leon makes a wooden spear. Judy Nutkiss repeatedly stabs Flufflepuff to death with size. Considering how much fluff Flufflepuff has, that's quite the achievement. Calvin Nutkiss falls into a frozen lake and drowns. Two cannon shots getting out of the distance for Flufflepuff and High Round. <laughs> Night 2. Record Ralph and Leon Kawada run into each other and decide to truce for the night. Robert on Underduck to Willager, Francesca to Willager, the Ghibli's painting, Queen Chrysalis, and Undyne all sleep in shifts. Kiyotaka Ishimaru convinces Queen Elsa to snuggle with him. Cheater. Sapphire and the Goblin tell stories about themselves to each other. Again, considering that the, do the Goblin doesn't talk, I wonder how well that would go. Fred Lee, Alphys, Jack Skellington, and Mondo Owada tell each other ghost stories to lighten the mood. Judy Nuckus climbs a tree to rest. Ruby questions her sanity. Sally Finkelstein receives clean water. Probably from her dad. Day 3. Judy Nuckus receives a hatchet. Sally Finkelstein, Mondo Owada, the Ghibli's painting, Kiyotaka Ishimaru, and Jack Skellington hunt for other tributes. Fred fishes. Wreck and Ralph poisons the goblin's drink. He drinks it and dies. All right, Reg and Ralph has his first kill. This should be good. Undyne constructs a shack. Francesca searches for a water source. Sapphire picks flowers. Leah and Kawada diverts Robert, I mean, Saicho Bob's attention and runs away. I really should have put his, put his nickname down. Queen Chrysalis explores the arena. Alphys attacks Queen Elsa, but she manages to escape. <sighs> Ruby discovers a cave. <clears throat> One cannon shot can be heard for the goblin. Night 3. Queen Elsa and the Ghibli's painting talk about the tributes to Alive. Leon and Sally sleep in shifts. Queen Chrysalis tries to sing herself to sleep. This day has been just perfect. Like any day that it has been since I was small. Sorry, I haven't seen a Carolot wedding in a long time, so. Mondo and Fred huddle for warmth. Kiyotaka cries himself to sleep. Probably because Mondo's gone. Sapphire and Sideshow Bob talk about the tribute still alive. Greg and Ralph lose sight of where he is. Judy Nutkiss cries herself to sleep. Undyne loses sight of where she is. Jack Skellington questions his sanity. Yeah, he's already dead. What's he doing in this killing game? Ruby attempts to start a fire, but is unsuccessful. No comment. Undyne questions her sanity. Francesca sees a fire, but decides to stay hidden. Day 4. Jack Skellington poisons Ishimaru's drink. He drinks it and dies. He must have borrowed Sally's 
deadly nightshade. The Jidley's painting, Sapphire, Queen Chrysalis, Onto Awada, and Undyne hunt for other tributes. Frederick Lee overpowers Sideshow Bob, killing him. Mixed emotions are mixed. Ragged Ralph explores the arena. Queen Elsa attempts to climb a tree but falls to her death. What the crap, Ralph? You could have saved her right there. <laughs> or Elsa could have used her ice steps. I, I don't know. All I gotta say is, fail. Francesca travels to higher ground. Alphys receives a hatchet. Ruby overhears Leon and Sally talking in the distance. Judy says to find a, climb a tree, but also falls to her death. War cannon shots coming in the distance for Taka, Sideshow Bob, Queen Elsa, and Judy. Night 4. Sapphire destroys Queen Chrysalis' flies while he's asleep. Jack Skellington quietly hums. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. What? You saw that coming from a mile away. What did you expect? Sally and Francesca huddle for warmth. Mondo tends to his wounds. Ruby tries to sing herself to sleep. And it's stronger than you. Undyne tends to the Ghibli's painting's wounds. Kind of impressive since he's, you know, a painting. Fred begs for Leon Kawada to kill him. He reluctantly obliges killing Fred. Caro's crush kills my crush. And both of us are dead, so... I'm rooting for you, Leon. Alphys unknowingly eats toxic berries. R.I.P. Wreck-It Ralph goes to sleep. Day 5. Ruby scares Leon Kawada off. Sapphire questions her sanity. Jack Skellington collects from a tree. Queen Chrysalis kills Ralph with a sickle. Aw, oh, man. Sally begs for Francesca to kill her. She refuses, killing Sally. I mean, keeping Sally alive. Sorry. I get she's technically already dead, so... Undyne picks flowers. Mondo tries to spear fish with a trident. Ghibli's painting questions his sanity. <sighs> Three cannon shots can be heard for Frederick, Alphys, and Wreck-It Ralph. Night 5. Francesca and Jack Skellington talk about the tributes to Alive. Mondo shoots an arrow into Queen Chrysalis' head. Ruby and Sally sleep in shifts. The Ghibli's painting starts a fire, all with that torch in his hand. Sapphire, Leon, and Undyne cheerfully sing songs together. <laughs> the feast! The feast! We go into the feast! The cornucopia is replaced with food, supplies, weapons, and memoirs from the tribute series. Leon Kawada repeatedly stabs Francesca to death with sighs. Yes! Thank you, Leon! Thank you! You've done what I wanted to happen to this chick for a long time! Hallelujah! Hallelujah! <clears throat> anyway, the Ghibli's painting is unable to convince Jack Skellington not to kill him. Sapphire and Sally Finkelstein threaten a double suicide. It fails and they die. Mondo decides not to go. Rui decides not to go. Undyne decides not to go. You missed out! That's all I gotta say. Day 6. Ruby tries to sleep through the entire day, probably after realizing her girlfriend was dead. Jack Skellington makes a slingshot. Undyne goes hunting. Typical Undyne. Leon sees smoke rising, but decides not to investigate. Mondo Water discovers a river. Five can shots can be heard for Queen Chrysalis, Francesca. Thank you, Leon. Thank you! The Ghibli's painting, Sapphire, and Sally. Leon severely injures Ruby, but puts her out of her misery. Jack Skellington tends to his wounds. Mondo and Undyne huddle for warmth. Day 7. Undyne sprays her ankle while trying to run away from Leon. Jack Skellington questions his sanity. Mondo travels to higher, travels to higher ground. One hand shot can be heard for Ruby. Night 7. Leon Kawada ambushes Undyne and kills her. Jack Skellington and Mato Awada tell stories about themselves to each other. <laughs> Day 8. Mondo sees smoke rising, but decides not to investigate. Leon questions his sanity. Jack Skellington fishes. One kid shot can be heard for Undyne. Night 8. Jack Skellington takes Leon Kawada's food, killing him. Mondo dies from hunger. All right! So I guess that means Jack Skellington is our winner from District 8. 
yeah, once I finally get that quarter quell started, you'll be facing off with Jack Frost, Jack Skellington. How does that make you feel? Obviously, we all know who the superior Jack is, so pretty good, I guess. All right, so here's the code if you guys want to follow this Hunger Games and re it. Hold on a sec. Okay, I just remembered to start the simulation over so you don't get the exact same results. So here's your code. Here's your URL. And let me know what other Hunger Games you want to see. Preach.